Patrick Mahomes is something special that we've never seen before. I don't like competing against him at all. This guy works harder than anybody I've ever met in my life. I was like, oh my God. And who y'all drafted right here? <laughs> <laughs> And they aren't the only ones talking about Patrick Mahomes. Players all over the league, even legends of the past, had a lot to say about him. But first, what a bunch of NFL stars recently said about Mahomes helped win him an award. Things started during interviews when players were asked who the best player in the world was. Who gets your vote for the top player in the league this past year? Mahomes. All right, I'm going to do Patrick Mahomes first because that game he played was crazy. If I had to name one? Yes, right now. Mahomes. I gotta say Patrick Mahomes. It's gotta be Mahomes, right? And all right, there weren't just stars saying Mahomes was the best with no proof. Some players broke down why his most iconic plays put him above the rest. Like the time he threw one of his craziest touchdowns ever. I saw him make a play where he's scrambling to the right, almost gets tackled, flips the ball upfield, running back catches it, goes and scores about 60 yards. Uh, he's doing this week in and week out. By the time literally everyone thought he was getting sacked, then Mahomes did something that the NFL's never seen before. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he's wrapped up. You have a quarterback wrapped up, and you think you're about to have a sack, and you look up, the ball is in the end zone. That's training. But what Mahomes was doing on the field eventually amounted to more than just quotes. It eventually got him presented with a prestigious award. You have been named the number one player on this year's top 100. Let's go. Trophy, sir. That's awesome. I, I appreciate it. Uh, never take it for granted. Uh, there's so many great players in this league. Um, and for the players to vote me as number one player, uh, definitely an accomplishment that I always, always will have now. Now, all right, awards are one thing. But Patrick Mahomes had one of the NFL's biggest stars praising him after one of the most record-breaking games in history. I think he ain't gonna do nothing but keep getting better. You know, that's the scary thing, so. And that was only part of what Aaron Donald thought after chaos took place. The stage was set for a matchup between two of the best teams in the league, Mahomes Chiefs versus Aaron's Rams. Right from the start, I swear to God, everybody was making crazy plays. And eventually, Mahomes got going with a few of his own. Both teams started making history until they eventually combined for over 100 points scored before the game was even over. Unfortunately though, in a game as great as it was, Mahomes not only forced a pass, which was picked for his second interception, when he luckily got the ball back and everything came down to a final drive with the game on the line. Mahomes cost his team the win. Mahomes, he escapes that, then launches it downfield, and it's intercepted by Joyner. With his third interception, that one literally threw the game away, and this ridiculous matchup came to an end with a loss for Mahomes. But cameras did catch Aaron walking away from Mahomes after the play, and it turned out they actually had a secret conversation. He's a special guy. You know, I, I, I said that after we got done playing him. He put his head down after he threw that last interception, and I, and I told him, you know, you want a hell of a football player, you know. The things he was able to do, you know, the throws he was able to make, you know. I, not too many times I gave respect like that, but I had to let him know that, you know, I think he's going to be, you know, one of the greats, you know, continue to work. I think he ain't going to do nothing but keep getting better. You know, that's the scary thing. So, you know, he, he's one hell of a football player. Now, okay, so far, we've only heard people praising Mahomes, but not every NFL player has good things to say about him. Like Joey Bosa doesn't only think completely differently than anything we've discussed. He doesn't even want to see or hear about Mahomes. And it ain't cause dude sounds like Kermit. I'm here. Mahomes has quickly become one of Joey's biggest rivals. Cause it seems like every time they face off, they're going right at each other. Now, of course Mahomes is always putting up crazy performances and winning almost every single time. Sometimes though, Joey gets the best of him and turns into the bully. During games, he sacked Mahomes and did a little celebration. Touchdown. He's hit Mahomes so hard that dude fumbled, and he even looked like he was trying to injure Mahomes during some plays. Like, Jesus. Regardless though, the real animosity that Joey was feeling wasn't said until Mahomes was featured on the viral Netflix show Quarterback that everyone, obviously including me, was watching. But when Joey was asked if he was gonna peep the show. Everybody's watched that quarterback do the quarterback documentary right on Netflix. How come, well, you, you win. You watched that? What? You, you haven't watched it? You? I'm gonna watch a documentary on Mahomes. I don't know. I mean, For what? I I don't know. Like, cause what are you at least crazy? It's, it's some kind of football. There's how eight come there, billion how, shows on TV. I, but I mean, I, Jesus, no, it's like I don't want to watch my rival. No, see how great he is. <laughs> All right, man. I mean, I guess I kind of feel that. I wouldn't want to watch a show about someone who whoops my ass either. But speaking of getting whooped, 
What another NFL star said about Mahomes made me think he was trying to humiliate the dude in front of his entire family. Cause in the 2020 playoffs, Miles Garrett must have been feeling himself ahead of his matchup against Mahomes. Even though he was acting like a fan at first, eventually he switched up. The best place to be on a, the field Patrick is with the ball in our hands instead of his, because he's he's great with it. He's great with his feet and great throwing off the off the run. And he can make plays on any part of the field. So you have to be prepared for that. You take a shot at him and make it clean and I want him to be able to go home and when he has his kid or kids, I'll tell them that he, he went against Miles Garrett. Individually, I like to leave an impression on everybody I go against. Now, alright, dude was out here acting like he had the greatest D in history or something. Uh, defense that is. And when it came time for the game, if I gave you one guess on what was about to happen for one million dollars, what would you choose? Take your time, man. Take your time. Nobody's rushing you. Alright, well, if you chose A and thought Miles was about to go off, you already know Mahomes is doing the usual. Touchdown city, baby! Ooh! Miles' dad kept running the score up, so I got to thinking, uh, is dude even playing? It seemed like Miles was barely even making an impact on the game. Like, he finished with a total stat line of two tackles. Two! The entire game! <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think Mahomes is gonna let his fam know about that one. There's some ass. But damn near the entire NFL had something to say when Mahomes made a whole lot of cash. After winning his first Super Bowl, this man made so much money that it set a record as the biggest contract in sports history. This man signed that line and instantly made over $500 million. Literally everybody was shook, so players around the league got to tweeting. One of his opponents said, oh my god, bro can start his own team. Another saw the contract and said, I know one thing, my son's gonna be a quarterback. One player even gave dude a new nickname when they called him Mr. Half a Billy. And finally, one of Mahomes' teammates said, the young man deserves it all. One of the best I've been around. One of the greats. <laughs> Mahomes even has my respect for cashing that fat ass check. But speaking of money, what some other NFL stars think of Mahomes? Nearly got him slapped with thousands of dollars in fines. It's never been a secret that people think the refs baby Mahomes with calls to help him win. And the first of the NFL players hating on Mahomes and the refs for it was Sauce Gardner. Cause during a game that the Jets had no business even being competitive in, they were somehow close to knocking off Mahomes and the defending champs. Especially after this play, where Mahomes threw an interception that should have given the Jets the ball. But as you can see by the ref instantly throwing his flag, that zebra really claimed Sauce was holding, which if you ask me, was a weak call. Regardless of what a dumb YouTuber thinks though, that flag gave Mahomes a do-over, which he of course used to drive down the field, waste the clock, and eventually win the game. So after Sauce took all the blame for pretty much losing the game because of his holding call, he let the world know what he really thought. Same thing that was happening all game. Ain't throw no flags. Pat threw the ball outside of the receiver. MC was there. He made the play. Then the ref threw the flag. Like me personally, that's like when you play basketball and one on one, and you go up to lay the ball up, and you wait to see you miss, and then say foul. Like I, was, I can't believe that. Like, like I don't even think they threw the ball my way at me first three quarters. Then they started throwing check downs and then a shot that they try to take, they finally get bailed out by that. Fourth quarter, crunch time, like, you know what I mean? Like that's, I don't even know what to say. Now, all right, after saying all that, of course Mahomes heard and he just had to talk about why Sauce was tripping. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I mean, you, you get your hands around the guy's neck like 15 yards downfield, they're going to call something. If it's going to be holding or illegal contact, it's just not allowed. So once I saw him grab him, I threw it up there to give Mark Wes a chance, kind of knowing that the flag was going to come. So, I mean, you can see it from my position. And, I mean, I understand people want to let teams play and stuff like that, but you can't, you can't get your hands around guys' necks like that. Mahomes could act like a psychic all he wanted, but there's no way he actually knew that flag was going to be called. In fact, Sauce responded to him one final time with some receipts. On Twitter, he literally posted showing off why the flag was nonsense and even explained why it wasn't supposed to be called. But just when you think things can't get any more sus between the refs and Mahomes, just a few weeks later, things got way more out of pocket when they were caught helping Mahomes again. This time another NFL star was pissed because the Patriots were facing Mahomes and also kept things close until one play changed everything. Holmes feels the pressure, throws on the move with the flag down. Sky Moore's first catch, balls out to the 41. Let's see what the flag is, it's gonna go on New England. Holding, defense number 28. It'll be a hold in the secondary on the Patriots. Yeah, again, they called holding on that. Even the announcer couldn't believe it. Wow, what? 
but the Patriots only being frustrated was an understatement. That horrible call of course led to the Chiefs scoring, then eventually winning. So after the game, Patriots star Matt Judon decided to go viral with one of the most sus pics on the internet. A meme of Mahomes literally making out with a ref and he quoted it saying, I see no lies. Now, obviously a pic like that was going to trigger a lot of people. Chiefs fans quickly defended their daddy saying things like, this was how Matt was telling the world he was into dudes without telling him he's into dudes and saying that this post was criticizing refs so maybe he needs a fine. Now even though that last dude was an absolute d-rider himself, he kinda made a good point regardless. Publicly criticizing the refs has always been risky, considering when players had done it, it got these guys fined a combined $80,000. So Judon and Sauce got off easy, cause their thoughts about the Mahomes situations could have been expensive, but crying about the refs is one thing. Mahomes was the reason this dude teared up, and it's all cause of what he thought about Mahomes before they played. Right before Lamar Jackson was about to face Mahomes during the AFC Championship game, he was asked a little bit about Mahomes. Everybody's going to talk about you and Pat Mahomes. What is it about that matchup that you really like? What is it about competing against him that you really like? I don't like competing against him at all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he's a great quarterback. Definitely a Hall of Famer. It's not even a, it's a no-brainer. He's definitely a Hall of Famer. I believe it's just two greats, up-and-coming greats, just going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, like a heavyweight fight, heavyweight matchup. That's, that's just what I see. Now, all right, Lamar showing his fear of playing against Mahomes. I don't like competing against him at all. Was strike number one. Then laughing and comparing their soon-to-be matchup to a heavyweight fight as if they were on the same level was strike number two. So when they officially faced off, Mahomes started beating Lamar's ass like a title fight, and he got things going with a crazy touchdown, and he never looked back. Even though Lamar did everything he could to keep things close by breaking tackles, throwing a touchdown of his own. He's trying to get after him for a second time, but the ball is thrown to the end zone, and it's caught! And even catching his own passes. He's the one score. Second and five. Ball batted up into the air, and caught by Jackson! He caught his own pass! That's one of the greatest plays I've ever seen. This is intercepted 100%. Eventually, the inevitable happened, which had Lamar smashing his helmet on the ground and tearing up on the sidelines. The game was over, Mahomes won, and Lamar's fear of Mahomes slapped him right in the face with strike number three. So after all of that, what did Lamar think of Mahomes? <laughs> Absolutely speechless. But someone who wasn't speechless about Mahomes was one of his biggest star teammates of all time, Tyreek Hill. I mean, dude literally thought Mahomes was ugly as hell when the Chiefs drafted him. I want to ask you this. When you were in training camp and y'all drafted Patrick Mahomes, what was your thought after you watched him that first week in training camp? I thought it was trash. I ain't gonna count. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna count. I ain't even gonna count, man. When he first got there, I was like, then who y'all drafted right here? Then who y'all drafted? <laughs> Hey, well, but look, it's just that second year, like his quarterback mechanics were different. It was like he was spending more time with his quarterback coach, spending more time with Coach Reed, like learning the offense. It was like, dude, it's like different. You know, but like when you see him though, like you you would think that he'll like a soccer dad or something because yeah. he built like the wrong way, but <laughs> no muscle at all. He doesn't look athletic, but like he he really fast for him to be looking like mm -hmm. that. Like he'll really surprise you. And then obviously the arm talent is crazy. So he's definitely special. <laughs> and Tyreek's right, man. The dude Dude is special, but I ain't just agreeing because I'm special, all right? Even the greats feel like Mahomes has potential to become a go. That's why nowadays, Mahomes' name is thrown in greatest ever debates. Yeah, we just try and give him the ball as much as possible. I mean, the guy is a, is a Hall of Famer, Hurst Ballet, probably the best player in NFL history, and he just keeps getting better. Patrick Mahomes is the best that I've seen. I think what he's able to do with his feet is really what the difference is between him and Brady. I've been on the opposite side of Brady multiple times, right? When you're watching the actual play of the position, Pat's doing things that we haven't seen. As a player, with his arm talent, with his, like he improvises like an artist out there. Just the way he plays, plays the game, I think what Pat has been able to do is phenomenal, especially to the start of his career. He's the best player I've ever seen, Patrick wow. Mahomes. And that's no disrespect to Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, or any of the great ones. But Patrick Mahomes gives this team confidence. Patrick Mahomes is something special that we've never seen before. Never seen before. Never seen. There's nothing like this kid. Uh, all right, man. Now, claiming Mahomes could become the GOAT is one thing, but after he recently won his third Super Bowl, now plenty of current and former players all actually said he already is the greatest of all time. There was a player who said, Patrick Mahomes is the GOAT already. He's 28 years old and has three Super Bowl wins in six years as a starter. Crown him already. 
There was even the player that tweeted saying, Pat Mahomes, greatest quarterback ever, I don't care. Argue with your mama. One of the league's biggest stars, Micah Parsons, also used his Twitter fingers to say, Pat Mahomes equals go. I don't care. We never seen someone on this pace and level ever. Even the legendary Ryan Clark tweeted, 15 the best ever, man. F waiting to say it. Now, I could go on and on and on with how many players were saying the exact same type of things. But with all of them saying he's already the best player ever, that's putting him above Jesus. Uh, I mean, Tom Brady. And Tom Brady obviously knows it'll take a lot to top what he's done. So what does he think about Mahomes? Well, it turns out that he thinks more about Mahomes than anybody. Cause the first time they officially met was in the 2018 playoffs with a shot at the Super Bowl on the line. The two battled all night long and after one of the craziest games ever, Brady took Mahomes down with this play. Second and goal to Burkhead. Burkhead to the end zone! Hello Super Bowl, New England! is heading back again for the third straight year. Now even though he handed Mahomes an L, news came out that he also handed over the keys to the league to him. And Brady talked about how right there was when he knew Mahomes was next up. You two faced each other in a huge game before AFC Championship game. Tom, you could have been celebrating with your teammates, but you made your way to the locker room to talk to Patrick. What made you want to do that? What happened was we won in the overtime. The field got crazy, so I didn't get a chance to go over and just tell him what I thought of him. And then I just wanted to make sure before he left that, you know, let him know what I thought about watching him play all year, how he dealt with all the, you know, different things that he had to deal with. I watched Peyton Manning for a long time. I really admired the way Peyton handled all the things that he dealt with, um, Brett Favre, who's a friend of mine. So I, I looked up to these guys and guys on my own team, guys that I really looked up to that helped me grow and mature as a young player. Pat's a young player. He's got some great players on his team, got great coaches and a great organization and great support outside of football and his family and, and all those things are gonna serve him well as he keeps going on in his great career. Now, at that point, Brady obviously knew something most of the world didn't, cause right after, Mahomes was about to take things to a whole new level. And eventually, Mahomes came face to face with Brady in one of the biggest games of the year again, except this time, everything was different. Brady was on a new squad, and Mahomes was determined to take Grandpa down with one of the best games of his career. And eventually after running the score up, Mahomes got the win, so Brady had even more to say about him. Yeah, I like Patrick a lot. Had a chance to be around him a little bit, and uh, obviously think he's a great player. He's doing a great job for that team. He's got a great career ahead of him, so I'm always happy to pass on information to others to hopefully see those guys maximize their potential. Like, I've been very fortunate to maximize mine. I've had a lot of mentors in my life that played a very important role in helping me be the best I could be too. So the least I could do is give it back to you know, all the other people that are looking for success in their field. Certainly not me. It takes a lot of people to support all of us. And you know, I really watch, love watching Patrick play. You know, he does a great job for that team. And unfortunately, we're on the, on the wrong end of it tonight. Now, all right, all right, all right, all right. It already seemed like Brady was becoming the dude's biggest fan or something. Even after Brady retired, Mahomes is the only player he's still paying attention to. And that's why Brady admitted something shocking when he was asked who's going to become the GO. I want to ask you the next question. You, you always hear the next Mike, the next Shaq, the next LeBron, the next Kobe. Who's the next Tom? Good question. Uh... I think when I'm looking at guys in pro football, quarterbacks, you know, Patrick's the one that's really stands out. They've done a great job, you know, since he's really taken over and he's got a really great coach. Like I was fortunate, like you were fortunate that helps you and is there for you when things, you know, are going good and not good. You know, gives you the humble pie when things are going good and knows how to pick you up when things aren't good. Man, so if Brady's admitting all of that, then it's gotta be true that Mahomes might actually become the greatest ever. Unless a heartbreaking moment happens like this, or like the time a player's mom was burned alive. Every story in this video is heartbreaking. So grab your tissues, click it, and I'll see you there. Man.